So we're given some initial conditions in this problem and we're asked to determine the coordinates where the tennis ball is expected to impact the surface. So those are going to be the x and y coordinates. So we want the projectile path and we want the different equations for that. So we're going to start with our acceleration in the x direction, which is x double dot of t, and our acceleration in the x direction is zero, um, and then acceleration in the y direction, t is equal to negative 9.81, and that's because of gravity. And then we want our velocity. So uh, in relation to acceleration and velocity, um, velocity is the antiderivative of acceleration. So we're going to have a constant value for our velocity in the x direction, and that constant value is going to be our velocity initial, the, um, the x component of our initial velocity. So that is going to be 30 cosine of 20. And then for the y, our, we're going to take the antiderivative, which is negative 9.81. And then we have plus c. And that constant is going to be the y component of our initial velocity. And that is plus, it's going to be positive. 30 sine of 20, and it's 20 because this angle in here is 20 degrees. And then from there, we're going to want the position. So our x position is the uh, antiderivative of this. There's no um, initial x position that we have or given. So that is going to be 30 times cosine of 20 times t because this is in respect to t, we're talking about our x and y components as they change with time. And then our y position, y of t, is going to be negative 9.81 divided by 2 t squared. Yeah, um, so up here, actually, um, I forgot to add the t value here, but when you're taking the uh, der antiderivative, you get negative 9.81 t. So we're going to have our negative 9.81 over 2 t squared um, uh, plus 30. And we're going to have plus 30 sine of 20 times t. So remember, we do want this t in our, our y velocity equation. And we have our x, our x and y components added to the uh, velocities that we have. So once we have these values, we want the equation of the surface. So we want to know more about this surface. So we have this. Um, it starts uh, over here at this angle of 45 degrees. And it is 20 meters from the initial starting point of the ball. So we have this here. And then we're going to want to just connect this here. So when you're doing, when you're finding the line, you get that it would intersect with the y axis at negative 20. So that gives us our equation that's going to be y is equal to x minus 20 because we're treating this surface as a line, we're treating it as a, a slope. And then once we have this, we are going to want to, um, from there, solve our different equations, and we want to solve for t first. So when we solve for t, we can first um, plug in our y equation right here and our x equations. So when we do that, we get negative 9. 0.81 by 2t squared plus 30 sine of 20t is equal to, that's our y equation, and it went right in here, and that's equal to our x equation, so that's, that's going to be 30 cosine of 20 t minus 20. So doing this, we solve for t, and you can rearrange the equation, and once you do that, you get that uh, our t 
is equal to 0 0.8 nine five nine seconds so once we get our time we're able to plug it into our x and y position equations since we want the coordinates of um we want the coordinates of the ball as it hits the surface um so we're going to plug this time back into the position so we have x x of t is 0 0.8959 is equal to our initial equation, or our equation we solve for, 30 cosine 20 times 0 0.8959, and that gives us 25.26 meters and then same thing for the y equation y y of 0 0.8959 is equal to negative 9.81 divided by 2 times our t value squared plus 30 times sine 20 times 0 0.8959. And we end up getting our y position to be 5.26 meters. And then that is, um, then we find, we found what we wanted. We have our x coordinate, our X coordinate is equal to 25.26 meters, and our Y coordinate is equal to 5.26 meters. And that is where the ball strikes the surface.